Well, hello and welcome once again to the Lucy Mackenzie Humane Society. Uh, the staff here um, and Paula behind the camera, Ros in front of the camera, uh, all say hello, please listen, please open your heart um, and please open your wallets um, and just above all come and see us here. We're in Brownsville, we're not difficult to find and we do need the support of all the public not only to adopt animals but to help us with other things and walking dogs and all sorts of things. And with me today I have my two granddaughters. This is Pearl and this is Molly. And so uh, you're going to hear from them, no doubt. They always have plenty to say during the program. And they're particularly enjoying the kittens in here. So hold on tight. Have your pen and pencil ready or your cell phone or whatever. So you can call us up when you see the animal that you have always wanted. Okay, so in this room we have kittens and uh, lovely ones. We've got black and white, we've got black, um, I think we have, and we've got a grey um, and this, the little one, there's a very tiny black one and perhaps yes. um, this is the tiny black one and okay, so her or him, I'm not sure which, is um, um, is the, the baby of another cat we're going to see later. Um, so while we're here with kittens, would I, could I please, please, please ask people once again to um, spay and neuter not only their cats but also their dogs. Um, anything. I don't know whether you spay and neuter uh, rabbits unless you've got two rabbits, a male and a female, then you would. But cats particularly, a lot of these cats here come from barn cats and that's okay if you have to have barn cats but please spare new to them because otherwise they just keep proliferate proliferating and then they end up here and we have to find them homes so thank you very much for thinking of that all right girls we'll see you later we're moving on all right woo <laughs> so this is lucia lucia is five years old isn't she beautiful this gorgeous sort of gray color. She's having a little midday snack. Tuna, tuna, we like tuna. And look at the tail. I mean, it's just incredible, isn't it? Look at that. She won't like that because they don't like their tails. Anyway, Lucia uh, is a bit of an escape artist, but she's an escape artist because she wants to go home. And she would love to go home with you. Anybody who's watching is you um, because she, she says, it's very nice here, they look after me very well, and I get my tuna snack at midday, but it's not the same as having a home and my own people who I can boss around. It's difficult to boss anybody around in here because there's so many of us. And so she says, I really, 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 Lucia, I really, really, really want to go home. Um, and uh, so, and she's very, she's fun. She likes to play and uh, she likes to cuddle. When she knows you, she'd take a little time to settle down, of course. But, but most of all, she wants to be in her own place, by herself, no other cats. Um, she could be a little bit of a madam when she settles down and really like bossing you around. But I can't say that for sure. But I'm quite sure that you'll like to be bossed around by Lucia. So please come and see her. Look how beautiful we are. We are posing. And so I would just make a date maybe on Saturday to come and see Lucia. And then I'm sure you will fall in love with her and home should go with you. Great. So this is Nora. Uh, Nora is a slightly older lady. Um, funny, I was just talking about older cats. So she was born in um, 2011, so it's not too bad. Not, cats can live for 18. I met somebody the other day whose cat lived to be 22. So who knows? Um, and uh, anyway, so Nora uh, was very happy in her home uh, and then they had a baby and it just didn't work out very well with the baby. So that's why she's here and she was a bit bewildered by everything and very sad, um, but she's beginning to adapt now. She would rather be an only cat um, and I'm not quite sure why she's been shaven, but that will all grow back and the tail is very beautiful. Um, so she would like to have a home by herself with you 
Um, and you can see she's very, very sweet, very friendly. And she's still a little bit wildered, I think, about why she's here. Isn't that right, darling? I know. And there's something very appealing about this cat. I don't know what it is, but it's sort of, she's squeezing my heart a little bit. Um, because I do get the feeling of she wonders why she's here. And so she really needs somebody who's going to show her, well, she's not here, but she's coming home with me. You're coming home with me, Nora, and you're, um, you'll have a wonderful home with a lot of love. And we will go and visit the pet shop and see about all the lovely things that we can get for you to play with and all the lovely thing, food we can get, just the right food for you all, darling, okay? And you're going to be very spoiled. And look at the length of those whiskers. Oh, my. So um, Nora is just waiting for you, and I would really, really, really like to see her. I think of all, maybe nearly, out of all the animals we've seen this morning to date, I would like to see this little one. Well, she's not that little, actually. She's slightly overweight, but um, not to worry about that. Um, I would like to see her settled comfortably. Um, and obviously not with, certainly not with young children but I'm sure she would be quite happy with older children, maybe 12 and up, um, or she would be happy with a single person. She said, I'm not fussy, just so long as I get lots of love and attention, and I will give you lots of love and attention in return. Please come and see me, because to see me is to love me. Hi, folks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm Sammy, and uh, I'm a Yorkie Poo. And I am how many years old? How are he three years old? And he said, I don't quite understand it, but I had a home with two other dogs. And then everybody thought that maybe three dogs was too much. So uh, here I am. And I'm just waiting and saying hello to Molly. Hello, Molly. And hello to Roz. And hello. Woo! And now, 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 Sammy, calm down. I'm so excited, you see, about being in front of the camera. I can't wait to go back to the kennels and tell everybody that I've been filmed. Whoopsie. So, uh, no, you want to go under there. Uh, he is a personality. And he would like to be an only dog. Uh, he loves walks and he needs walks because he's little and he very he's energetic. Very energetic and so, you know, some <coughs> good, uh, and bossy too. And uh, hey, this is my territory. Um, that's why he needs to be an only dog. No cats, uh, just Tammy. We're very sure about just that. Sammy. <laughs> yes, just Sammy. And uh, he said, I love car rides and I can yell at every dog and person I see as we go by. <laughs> it's not going to be a quiet car ride. <laughs> but he's fun. And uh, you, what do you think, older children? Um, no, he is, he's good with everybody. Just he's good no, with everybody. No other kitties or doggies. No, no, but people. Yes. And every, in fact, I, I think he said, I'm, I'm quite good at soccer. Everybody's playing soccer at the moment, and I'm pretty good at chasing that ball. So, um, or anything, really. Um, and I love to be played with, and um, so come and see me, because I think uh, if you, and, and actually, um, I've got a good brain, too. I'm very clever. I can work things out. And so if you think you're going to slip out and leave me alone, not that I mind being alone that much, but if you think you're going to do it without telling me, <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> I'll know. I'll know. Isn't that right, Sammy? And he said, and I love to cuddle up at night with you. That's really, I like a good cuddle, especially when I'm tired because I've had lots of walking and running and playing. So please come and see Sammy. He does need a home soon because he doesn't know why he's here. And um, so there he is, you see, settling down in the sun. So just come and see him. So. Pearl, tell us, uh, what do you think about uh, people adopting animals? I think um, it's kind because they need a home and they could be like frightened in a way because they don't know necessarily where they were and they might have been having a better life where they were. And I just think it's kind mm. because mm. they're having mm. a better home. That's, that's a very good reason to adopt an animal who hasn't got a home. To have a better home. Yes. And Molly? What do you think about adopting animals? Well, I think basically it's giving a cat another couple of years of love and life. Mm. That's very true. It is too. 
and their mother adopted, was living in Tanzania and adopted a dog off the streets and took her back, called her Lucy and took her back to her camp and uh, Lucy got fatter and fatter and fatter and three weeks later produced nine puppies. And so they kept two, they found homes for the rest and they kept two of them. Um, Peter Crouch, who was very tall with long legs and named after a football player in England, um, and uh, Blackie. And uh, Peter Crouch, unfortunately, is not with us anymore, but Blackie is still with us, and uh, so is Lucy, the mother. They flew them, my daughter and her husband flew them back from Tanzania, and they have a very happy life on their farm and with the girls. So um, we are, and I have adopted older dogs, for probably 30 or 40 years now. And it's sometimes hard adopting an older dog um, because you don't have them for very long, but it's so worth it. The, one, the oldest one I ever adopted was 14, and he was just the most perfect dog, and he lived till he was 16, and it was a wonderful two years. So please don't always get put off by age and want a younger one. And the same with cats. So talking about cats, now we're going to move to Tahiti here. And Tahiti really, really, really needs, she's about five years old. Um, she's very pretty. She's very trim, isn't she? She hasn't got long fur or anything like that. She said, I don't want anything nonsense like that. I just like to keep myself neat and tidy and clean. And um, she is an only, should be an only cat. She is here, but she doesn't like being with other cats and there aren't many here. And I would say that probably a lot of the ones here are much the same. But anyway, Tahiti likes to be an only cat. She's quite bossy. Um, but I think you would, she would fit in all right. And once she got you organized about how she wanted things and what time she wanted her food and when she wanted to go to bed and where she wanted to go to bed, very important. So, uh, but she just really needs to go home. And she's a very always trying to get out of the door there, which doesn't mean to say she's go at all, she's going to do that when she goes home. She just wants to get out of the door and go home with you and have her own particular people and her own particular place. And a lovely window to gaze out at everything going on outside, um, particularly all the dogs going by and she can say, meow, here I am. And of course the dogs, <laughs> the dogs can't get at her. So please come and see Tahiti above all. She really, really does need to go home. And she's just very delightful, small, petite, um, very sure of herself, and very sure of the love you're going to give her. Right. OK, so um, here we have Mooney. And I am ashamed to say I did not introduce Electra. Um, and uh, Electra is a wonderful doggy person. And so tell us a little about Mooney. So Mooney is very young. He's one year old and came in with his mama. So he is pending introduction with any other dog. Uh, he could be he could be the playmate for your dog that you currently have at home. Uh, uh, have to be a biggish one though, biggish dog, don't you think? Because if it was a well, small dog, it might so they be could tumble a bit around rolled together. over. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, and he is good with all kids, all kids and everything like that. He's a, just a little bit shy when you first meet him. Though. Yes, yes. He's a sweetheart, isn't he? He is, yes. I think he probably good. needs to lose a little weight. Yes, for um, sure. But I would say that he would love hikes, and this is just the season to hike. Um, really long, lovely hikes. Um, make sure that you take plenty of water for him and, and um, you know, make sure it's not too hot. In this weather, it's better to hike early in the morning or later at night. Um, but I, I just have a feeling about this dog. He's, he has a very gentle heart, and um, he is going to make one of you a very, very happy person. I never say owner because I absolutely don't think that I have ever owned any dog I have ever had, which is more than I can remember. They have always owned me, and I don't like the word owned anyway. We, I have always been partners with my animals. And so I think this guy would make a wonderful partner for anyone. And so he does get on with other dogs. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, C-A-T-S? 
No, no I think, C-A-T-S. I, I think that um, if somebody were to have a cat, it's something that the dog coordinator yes. might, might explore. But yes. for now, we're saying no yeah. on that. Yeah. Yeah, and if there were ch oopsie, know, yes, up. there's somebody there. Well, they're going to be next, Mooney. <laughs> <laughs> so please come and 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 get to know him. Um, Electra will go out for a walk with him, so you can do that with him. But um, he is, as I say, a, a gentle soul. And uh, oh, he's a, there's another dog. He said, I want someone to play with, and I think he'd actually be better off with another dog. No pending introduction. Um, I, I think if you have a good pen, a pen that they can romp around in, and um, and he, I can see that he would really like to do obedience classes. Oh sure, yeah. He's got that He's look about nice him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when he slims down a bit, he'd probably quite like to do the other ones too. You know, <laughs> the in and out. But um, he would certainly like to do the obedience classes, and it would do his, um, you know, it would make him feel a lot more confident. I think of the world and his new home and other dogs and everything else. Uh, they are very, very good, these classes. So anyway, Mooney, I'm going to say goodbye now. Mooney, Mooney, woohoo, Mooney. Can you say goodbye to the camera, sweetheart? Yes. So this is, this is Hermes. Uh, Hermes is one of the barn cats. Oh, isn't he handsome with that wonderful sort of lighter ruffle there. He's very friendly. He didn't seem like that just now, but he, I sort of crept up on him. Um, he's very sweet. He is, loves people. He is just longing, longing for a, a home. And he is very tame and friendly. Um, and uh, he's under two, we think, so he's quite young. So you would have him as your beloved, beloved cat for many, many years. Um, Hermes, could you turn around and have a look? Oh, he wants to get in that bin over there. Let me see if I can persuade him to come. Hey, Hermes? Hermes? <laughs> look at those eyes. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> what is that? What is that, Hermes? Oh, my. Aren't you the beautiful guy? And he's just been having his late lunch of tuna, too. Um, he's a little nervous right now because the dog's barking outside and he's here by himself. And, uh, but he is, he is very friendly because Kerry was feeding him and said, how, oh, that was a bee. That's not a very good idea, Hermes. So, and the other thing is, this guy's had a bad time. All barn cats have. They're not sure whether anybody loves them. They've had to fight for their food. And so even if he, right now, he's a little bit touchy, um, I, I think that um, they all deserve that extra little bit of attention from us and the extra effort to uh, make them feel at home in their new home and um, an extra little bit of love because they haven't had any up to now, except when they came in here. So that's what Hermes is looking for. Let me see. You are sweet, sweet, sweet. That's what Hermes is looking for. Woohoo. You're gonna, I'm gonna turn him around here. There he is. I think he's a little bit camera shy. He said, I don't know about that thing looking at me, that black eye looking at me, but come and see him. And uh, isn't he gorgeous? I think so. I've quite fallen for him. So I, I'm just going to talk about all the black and white cats in here, um, sort of what generally. Um, most of them came in from a barn. They were barn cats. And um, some of them have had kittens. We just saw a kitten of one of them, very tiny one, Lavender, um, who's sort of behind Paula at the moment. and. Um, so uh, some of they're, very, they're pretty shy, all of them, but they're getting better because a lot of them have been here for some time now. And of course, they get used to people and being in a more enclosed environment. Um, so as I was talking about barn cats before, that's some of the kittens are over there where we started off. Um, and it's such a shame that these beautiful cats uh, are here and they're still here and they're still waiting for homes. Um, and they will settle down eventually. 
uh, and I also do always like to say about cats, would you please, if you have a cat, please, please have an indoor cat. If you have an outdoor cat, the dangers to it are great. Uh, if it's out at night or during the day, it can be caught by a fox or a weasel or a coyote or any number of things caught in a trap. Um, there are no, many reasons why your cat one day will not come back. And the other reason is that they do such terrible damage to not only small creatures, which even moles go to help aerate the soil and have a use, soil and, and uh, have a use. And secondly, um, they're birds. Millions, of, literally millions of songbirds are killed by outdoor cats every day. So if you have a cat, please, please, can you see if it would be an indoor cat? And please, please come and give a home to one of these beautiful, beautiful black, black and white cats. And then some of them are not from the barn lot, but um, they just need homes. And most of them, and I'm probably wrong actually about Lucia too, since she's in here with other cats. They all seem to get on fairly well um, with other cats. So. Oh, all right, well, we'll get to you in a minute. Somebody there in the background, a little dog saying, what about me, what about me? Um, <laughs> so please just come and look, because if you come and look, you won't be able to resist, will you, Pearl or Molly? No. Huh? Nope. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I love it. Oh, I love it. Yes, okay. okay. All, right. all right, well, I'm introducing you to a real wonderful pair. Uh, um, this is Emma. And this is King. So, King, can you say hello? Okay. Hi, folks. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, they are, let me see, what is the mix? I've got it down here. Uh, they're Shih Tzu mixes. We don't know. Well, as I say all the time, we're all mixes anyway, aren't we? So, it doesn't matter. But, mwah! Uh, oh, yes. Oh, no. This is King. And Emma is very dependent on King. So, they do need to go together. Um, King said, no, to me, sort of in my ear, very quietly. He said, well, actually, you know, I, I would be fine on my own. But he said, uh, Emma needs me, and, and I like to be there for her. So they do go together, and um, I don't know why they were given up. Why would anybody give up you two? You're just gorgeous. Well, because you do have to keep up on grooming with them. Yes, oh, yeah. Oh, I see, yes. So, so there is a little expense involved, folks, um, of making sure that we're neat and trim and all the rest of it. We like to look nice and, uh, you know, tidy and, uh, and have everybody admire us. Oh, yes, oh, yes, look at you, look at you. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? What a lot of fun. And we love walkies, uh, and we need walkies, and we would like to have a fenced-in yard. It doesn't have to be very big because we're small, but we would like to be out there so that we can play and have lots of toys to play with. And, um, but, you know, it's all right if you have to go out for a while because we've got each other. Um, of course, I don't know about night time. There might be quite a fight about who's going to sleep next to you or, or on top of you or around your head or over your feet or whatever it is. But um, I'm sure you'll be able to work that one out. And I think, yes, yes, darling. And the main thing is, is just to come and see us, please. Um, and Electra will take you out for a walk with us and you'll see how just delightful we are and uh, we we're not that fussy about food there are certain things that we like we love treats um, but not too many because then we put on yeah, and they're beautiful weight actually aren't yes, they Electra they're, they're I mean oh look at this come here come here come here sweetie oh. yeah, yeah so uh, so please come and see Emma and King they're just waiting for you um, as our all the animals we've seen this morning and many others that we have not had time. Um, I just want to add thing, one thing about Mooney, uh, you know, the, the big brown guy who was so sweet. And he came in with his mother, uh, Sunny, and she is very sunny. Her disposition oh, is just yes. sweet. And their persons move, had to move across country and couldn't take them. Um, I don't know, maybe they were going into an apartment or something, but they're big dogs. And Sunny, the mother, looks, her son looks very like her, but she is very, very, very overweight. Um, and so uh, if she, you were to take her home, which please think of doing, because she's Sunny by name, name and Sunny by nature. Uh, she's very, very sweet. 
and of course she'd love to go with her son I'm sure if she could um, but Sunny really needs a very strict diet she's very overweight which is not good for her so um, meanwhile so these two are saying hey who are you talking about somebody else when you should be talking about us <laughs> that's right isn't it sweetheart yes and so it's hot for them so I won't go on any longer and um, I will just say thank you for watching and we'll just go and find Molly and Pearl who are in with the cats and say goodbye to them goodbye Electra thank you very thank much you. and we will see you next month and um, please come and take someone home ready so Molly and Pearl are just ready to say goodbye and Pearl just has a little something to say about this cat He's so sweet. Um, he remembered me from earlier, and he came and ran over to my arms. Oh, my oh. And you just have something to say to people who are viewing this? Please, please, please. take someone home. They really need a home.